Hello all, it is Nikki Crow, your learning connection here at Red Hat. Today we are going to go over how to go into your Red Hat learning subscription, claim your exam voucher, and then get into the exam scheduler to schedule an exam time. Now, when we talk about an exam voucher, we are talking about the ticket to take the exam. When we talk about the Red Hat Learning subscription, we are specifically talking about the premium Red Hat Learning subscription and the standard Red Hat Learning subscription. The basic learning subscription does not include exam vouchers. So as you can see on my screen, I've actually already logged in to my learning subscription. I, of course, went to ROL dot red hat dot com i logged in with my red hat id i logged in with my password um, and it takes me to this home page on my home page there's two things i really want to uh, pay attention to when i start thinking about exams one is going to be days remaining this is going to tell me how many days left i have in my subscription this date is important as you have to claim your exam vouchers, schedule it, and take the exam prior to your learning subscri subscription expiration date. So let me say that again. You have to claim your exam voucher, schedule your exam, take your exam prior to your learning subscription expiring. There is no exception to this rule, so please be aware of your um, days remaining. And then the other thing I want to pay attention to when it comes to exam vouchers is how many I have remaining. With the standard and premium Red Hat learning subscriptions, you are allotted five exam vouchers. And as you can see from here, I've actually used two out of my five exam vouchers. When we go to claim an exam voucher, I'm going to simply enter the SKU into the search bar. If you do not know the SKU, please reach out to me. Please reach out to your, um, your learning sales connection at Red Hat. We can definitely help you get those SKUs. So I'm going to simply enter the SKU. And then you can see when I enter it, it actually didn't pull up under all results. Please do not panic. This is very normal. We're going to simply click the catalog button and you can see that the exam voucher is right here. So I have put in EX200. This is going to be the RHCSA exam. It is considered our foundational exam. I am going to click on the view button. And there are a couple of things I'm going to look at on this page. One, I'm definitely going to read all this, this information that is here. Um, in regards to the exam, it's going to give me um, who should be taking it, what my prerequisites are. It's going to give me some preparation tips and then some information on the score and reporting. And then two, I'm going to notice that when I come over to the enroll button, that there is a drop down. Please always pay attention to these drop downs. When there is a drop down like this, that means that there are two versions of the exam voucher available. So you can see that the first one says EX200 V8K. That is going to be the version eight exam. So it's gonna focus on RHEL version eight. And then there's EX200 V9K. This is going to be the version nine exam. And of course, it's going to focus on RHEL nine. You need to make sure that you pay attention to these and that you select the correct um, version and the correct SKU that you're after. Once you hit this red enroll button and you confirm that this is the one that you want, you will not be able to go back and change it. Um, so please, please, please be very aware of the versions that you choose. Um, I am going to go ahead and um, click between the two. You can see that when I click on EX200 V8K, there, the red button says schedule. It's because I've actually already claimed this EX200 V8K exam voucher. Um, so if I hit the schedule button, it would take me to the exam scheduler to schedule my exam time. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to claim those. So for, uh, for this example, we're gonna go to EX200 V9K, and then I'm simply going to hit enroll. 
it's going to say, are you sure you want to enroll? This will use one of your exam um, eligibilities. I would then hit the red enroll button. I'm not going to click on this one just because I don't want to use another one of my exam vouchers, but you guys can see how simple it is. It's going to pop up. It's going to give you a red button that you would hit enroll and then your screen will look like this. So it'll say that your status is unscheduled and it's going to give you a red schedule button. So our next step, we've claimed our exam voucher. We have claimed the ticket to take the exam. Now we need to get into the exam scheduler to actually schedule our exam. So I'm going to click on the red schedule button and it's going to take me to the exam scheduler. So I'm going to scroll down and then we're going to get to the um, exam voucher that I'm wanting to schedule. Please note that when you initially claim an exam voucher, it can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours for it to pop up into your exam scheduler. Um, so if you claim it and you try it immediately and it's not there, give it, you know, 30 minutes or so and then log back in and it should be there. Uh, so we're going to click on this EX200 V8K tile because that is the exam that I want to schedule. It's going to ask me to confirm my country. So I'm going to go in and put United States because that is where I am located. And then it's going to give me two centers do or two options. Do I want to go into a testing center? And when they say a testing center, it's literally one of the Red Hat learning partners that we have a kiosk that is set up. So do I want to schedule time to take the exam at the kiosk or do I want to take the exam remotely, which is online? Please note that with testing centers, it is going to be dependent on what the epidemic guidelines are for that city and that state. And then it is also going to be um, dependent on the facility being able to staff that center. Um, so not every state right now will have a testing center available. Um, so just know that if you are looking for a testing center. For our, our example though, I'm gonna go and hit remote. So I'm gonna say, hey, I want to take this online. It's going to pop up um, this page and I'm going to again type in my country. And then it's going to ask me to confirm my time zone. And I know I am America, New York. So I'm going to click that time zone. You want to make sure that you uh, select the correct time zone because you want to make sure that you're selecting a time that works best for you. Remember, Red Hat is global. That's why the time zone is important. So I'm going to hit the blue continue button. At this point, the active calendar is going to pop up. I can click at the beginning of each week and it will give me a week view. So if I don't wanna look at it individually day, I can do that. Um, notice that there are two colors. There are grayed out spaces um, or gray out, grayed out blocks. That means there, this time is not available. And then there are blue times and these are going to indicate that the time is available. We want to make sure that we are paying attention to the time that we choose. Um, the time is going to be shown in a 24 hour clock. So when we are looking at one o'clock here, we're looking at 1 a.m. versus 1300, which is going to be 1 p.m. So simply click on the time that you believe works best for you. It's going to give you a couple other times when you click on that. So as you can see, I have a 10 o'clock option, 10.15 option, 10.30, 10.45. Click on the time that you want. It's going to ask you to agree to the term and conditions. Please read those. It'll tell you what the cancellation and reschedule policy is. If you are taking any type of certification um, that is above RHCSA, here's where you'll put your certification ID number. If you are just starting out with Red Hat certifications and you do not have um, a certification ID number, you will not put anything there. Um, but if you are a current certification holder, you want to put your ID there so it links your certifications together. I'm gonna hit agree. I'm gonna say I'm okay with these times. So I have it for, um, 623 at 1015 
a.m. and that's going to be the America New York time zone and I'm going to simply hit reserve. I do not want to hit reserve because I do not want to take an exam spot away from one of you, um, but that is going to be our options there. Now, I do want to go back and just show you the testing center option because I'm sure some of you will ask for that. And I want you guys to know that the option is there. But like I said, depending on where you're located, it may not be a viable option for you. And for some reason, my screen's not going back, and that is perfectly fine. We'll go back into our Red Hat Learning subscription, re-hit the schedule button, scroll down to the exam tile that I want to schedule, select my country. Here we go, United States. And then we're going to hit Testing Center. And then I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to put in Virginia because I know that there is at least one center open in Virginia. And it's going to give me um, the Sunset Learning Institute in Reston. So I, I would simply click Schedule Exam. It again is going to give me that active calendar that we just saw for the remote. And again, remember if it's grayed out, it means the time's already taken. If it's blue, it means that you can schedule the time. Uh, depending on when you are trying to schedule, it is very normal for the um, testing centers to be booked up uh, just because there aren't a lot of them open and people are of course trying to schedule. But just like we did for the remote, if I find a time that I want, I will click on it. I'll click on the exact time that I want. It'll take me to this exact same agree page where, again, I would put in my certification ID number if I needed it to link, and I would simply hit reserve. So that is all. That is how you go into your Red Hat learning subscription and how you would claim your exam voucher. And like I said, I'm going to repeat it again because <laughs> it comes up a lot and it's super important. You need to please be aware of the days that you have remaining along with the number of exam vouchers you have because again you must claim your exam voucher schedule your exam and take your exam before your expiration date guys if you have any questions or concerns you're always more than welcome to reach out to me and i hope you guys have an amazing day